on the evidence that the U.S. actually is intimately involved in this. So, you know, this Bolivian Juan Guaido, who's using the Bible to basically legitimize her seizure of power, is also holding hostage the entire Senate majority. These are the MAS figures who literally had a majority in the Senate who are threatened with death if they showed up to their legislative body that they were elected to to basically reject what's going on. This was just confirmed. Six School of America alumni um, had a, a central role in Bolivia's coup. This, this is, is a big a, deal. Yeah. The commander of the Bolivian Armed Forces who was involved in this coup, as Abby is saying, he received training at the School of Americas. You can look this up. His name is Williams Calumin Romero. He's 56 years old. The School of Americas we've talked about a lot on this podcast before, but uh, continue with what you're saying, Abby. So the School of Americas is a horrific institution that should be shut down. It has trained um, and facilitated basically genocides across Latin America, all stemming from the U.S. government. It is a military training institution based in Fort Benning, Georgia. Since its creation in 1946, over 60,000 Latin American military officers have graduated from the school. So it doesn't sound too crazy. It's like, oh, whatever, you know, the U.S. military trains um soldiers and then uses them in different operations around the, the world. No, they literally are trained in like the most brutal and horrific practices. Every time you see like a crazy genocide or massacre taking place or like military dictatorship, almost in every single case, the people that have been a part of that are all attendees and graduates at the School of the Americas. Like, really, hands down, you can almost guarantee that that's the case. So I'm not surprised to see that multiple people leading the Bolivian coup are actual SOA graduates. There's manuals um, used by the school that basically condone and promote the use of torture. So there's this huge organizational effort to try to shut down the school, and it turned out like that the CIA was like spying on activists and all this stuff. Like this is just an, a huge ongoing thing. One of the biggest things that the School of Americas have been involved in is the disappearance and death of like over 200,000 Guatemalans um, in Colombia. The mass disappearances, millions and millions of people disappeared in Colombia. Basically, Colombia has the largest proportion of graduates from the School of the Americas. And now I'm reading actually SOAWatch.org. Colombia is used as the main proxy for U.S. empire, similarly to how Saudi Arabia is in the Persian Gulf and Israel is in the Middle East for U.S. empire. Colombia is what we use to deploy a lot of our operations, stage and house a lot of our military personnel. It's interesting because it's not just the U.S. military, of course. We use these native peoples of different countries to carry out operations on our behalf. So to kind of wipe our hands clean of these operations when really it is being led directly from the CIA, from, from the State Department, and from this school. And it's just absolutely incomprehensible that the School of the Americas is still operating freely.